Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are taking a look at the Infocus M530. Price at rupees 11,000. It comes with 13 megapixel autofocus front and rear cameras. The rear camera also has optical image stabilization, but we'll talk about the specs later on. Coming to the build on the right, you have the power lock and unlock button, offers good feedback. On the left, you have the volume rocker, four metallic trim on all the sides. You have the micro USB port as well as the primary microphone at the bottom. Now this is a dual SIM device, micro SIM card slots, 4G enabled, battery is removable over here. You can expand storage up to 64 gigs. Now this one is powered by the 2 GHz MediaTek MT6595 octa-core chipset with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage. Along with that 13 megapixel autofocus front camera, you have a soft front flash as well and you have capacitive buttons just below the display which do light up. The display here actually looks pretty good. Good color reproduction, it is a bit reflective, you have Corning Gorilla Glass protection and the viewing angles are pretty decent. Touch response also seems good over here. Now apart from optical image stabilization, the 13 megapixel rear camera also uses a Sony sensor and has an f1.8 aperture lens. So brighter shots even in low light, the front facing camera also seemed pretty decent. Now these are some of the samples taken with the rear camera. Now this was not adequate lighting, conditions were overcast, the images however did turn out quite well. We'll take an in-depth look at the camera when we get the device in our labs. Now just like the M350, the M530 is also running Android 4.4 and here you have about 11.2 gigs of storage available, out of that 16 gigs USB OTG is also supported and you can see plenty of RAM is free out of that 2 gig, multitasking shouldn't be an issue on this device. Overall, the performance did seem quite decent on the device. I didn't see any major lag. The build quality, however, isn't really up to snuff over here. It seems a bit bulky. The 4 metal trim doesn't look that premium. Moreover, the back of it does seem a little flimsy. But these are just first impressions. We'll take an in-depth look at the device. It's really packed to the hilt with great specifications. It will also be available come June 26 on Snapdeal exclusively. Stay tuned to phonemush.com for its full review. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, hit us in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. And as always, have a great day.